Here in Oklahoma, it seems that if you're not in the city, you're in the country, which means that you're surrounded by a lot of trees, a lot of cows, a lot of horses, but not a lot of rulers. There's this book called The Science of Measurement that talks about the history and application of using your body to measure things like length and angles and even time. So if you find yourself out in the country or anywhere where you don't have a ruler or a tape measure but you need to measure something, there are tricks that you can do to get an approximate measurement. I say approximate because everybody is different. Every body type is different. And so the body measurements of one person may be drastically different than the body measurements of somebody else. But generally speaking, these are some of the tricks that you can do to find measurements. The average thumb is about one inch, or the average fingertip to the first knuckle is also one inch. The palm is four inches across. The average foot is a foot. You can measure a yard from your nose to your outstretched fingertip. A fathom is fingertip to fingertip with your arms outstretched. Although I don't know why you would need to know a fathom, but if you ever do, there you go. And if you're an even height like me, your height could also be used for measurement. There are also other standard items that you could use to help measure. For example, a sheet of paper is eight and a half inches by 11 inches. Most business cards are three and a half inches by two inches or even something like your phone. I mean, if you knew the measurements for it, you can use that to help you measure. Like I said, all of these are approximate, but if you're ever out and you're in a pinch and you need to make a quick measurement, you could use these to help you out. 